Look at this, y'all. No perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's a nice piece of chocolate. That's a Santa Claus. You like them chocolate? You, you finna buy me him? I'm Nikki, and this is my life. I've been looking for my wallet for two days, you guys. And I didn't really need it. It wasn't going anywhere. But something said, go check the car, because I know you didn't leave that wallet. And, and y'all, I left the wallet sitting on the seat just like this. I can't even believe this. I feel so blessed. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for the area that I'm in. Because, baby, I know this could have went very different. First drink. I don't know what I did to deserve this. But please let me know so I can keep <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yeah, she over here hooking her sister hell up, y'all. But then be pretending like she don't know how to comb no hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Putting her right together. And I just love it. Because look how she's sitting. Y'all done seen it. Don't go like this when I comb my hair. Y'all seen it for y'all self. <laughs> Shit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Coco, I'm firing myself. I am not combing your hair no more. Mm -hmm. Silly. Then you know it's Christmas When the snow starts to fall Then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful We've never been down here and, and when we go to the airport, they don't take us this way So we never get to see that We never get to see that Wrap the final gift You know it's time for Christmas For each and every one I'm so damn mad let me tell y'all, this this just make me want to turn around. I'm recording on my phone right now. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm recording on my phone. Basically, I left my camera at home. That's the first thing. Then I realized I left my coat, and I'm going to Chicago where it's freezing cold. Now we get to fucking TSA, and they not letting me in. Because basically Coco can't speak for herself to identify herself. Like, what the fuck? Y'all know I done been flying all year with this girl. She turned 18 in February. I have never, ever had this problem before. Never. So, here we are, stuck here. Looking stupid. Stuck here looking stupid. I am so mad. I'm sorry? Yeah, give her a minute to get it out. I thought she said it. I couldn't no. hear. Come closer, baby. How old are you? Sixteen. What did you say? Sixteen. She said sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Thank you. He 
come over here. Asking her her name and how old she is. She told him she's 16. And he gonna look at me like I'm stupid. I know how old my child is, but are you gonna take what she said at face value? Cause she said 16, so that means we coming in. I'm so irritated, so mad. And I don't like how we being treated. And I'm going to keep recording so y'all can hear it all. I don't care what they say. Right. Turning that to you. I'm going to borrow your ID, please. So what you just saw was him basically, I guess, accepting that Coco said she was 16. So he literally took us through the security. We went through security. They put her in the scanner. I was so angry because when she came out of the scanner, the lady told asked me to uh, let her know that she's going to pat her down. She had Coco to open her legs, lift her hands up and she's touching her my baby looked so like oh my god the look in her face had me so mad she was looking like she was being violated I was I was just so mad y'all and it it that was not the end it still continued so after we got through security I thought we was going to our gate but no it got worse. I asked the lady why couldn't she just walk through the metal detector instead of putting her in a scanner because they've never done that before. And she said, well, that's because she's 18. And so we have to do this. And the guy who literally took us through security, who knew that she was 18, the same guy who told me that he had to verify her in a different way gonna say oh no we have a problem she's 18 we can't let you guys go through here excuse me sir i y'all i ended up talking with big managers and everything it was so much i was so mad he actually tried to lie and say that coco said she was 16 and i verified that she was 16 Bruh, don't you lie on me in my face. I wish I had that camera rolling. I went off on him, okay? The first thing he said was, and the mother verified it. I said, who? Who verified it? I didn't, I didn't tell you that. I led with she was 18, and I stuck with that. Why would I lie? It makes no sense, sir. I, if I would have lied in the first place, we wouldn't even be having these conversations. But I didn't. I told you the truth. So Jazz was like, no, he asked her. And she told him 16. She was like, mama, you didn't. I said, baby, I know. And what he's not going to do is try to save his job on my account. No, sir. Let me speak for myself. I cut him off and I started telling the lady exactly what happened. No, he's trying to save his ass. But. In the end, we finally got through. I did not have time to take her to the bathroom. I didn't have time to do anything. We made it up to the gate, and we had to board. I don't like rushing when I have Coco because it's a lot of work that needs to be done at the airport. And I just, they threw everything off. I didn't even get to feed my kids. Like, 
it was what it was. Um, I left there and I just let it go. Moving forward, I know what to do. I do have to get her a uh, state ID. I do have to do that actually for all of us in order to fly the real IDs in order for us to fly. But in the meantime, I know exactly what to do from this point on. I bet that won't happen again. Person on TikTok, they be looking at house up like that. That is awesome. Oh, it'd be so cool. Probably the light be on because they be so many lights. Music go off. We made it safely. Hi, sis. I'm in the car with sister again. Hi, yay. Oh, it's dark. You can't hi. see her, but she is saying hi. Oh, well, now it's dark. Yeah, I'm at one of the local spots. Um, taking my hometown where we get some fire chicken. Damn, my diet. I ain't coming home and not getting stuff that I can't get nowhere but home. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's called Sharks. Or chicken, either or. Okay, don't pass them up.